This is the seventh video in a series intended to help you find records about your ancestors in Italy using the Family Search Research Wiki. This lesson has two parts a lesson teaching about the records and a case study showing an example of applying what you learned in the lesson. The most useful church records include births or baptisms, marriages, and deaths or burials. They were kept from about the middle 1500s to the present day, most require writing letters to local priests. Before I show you how to find these records, I'm going to show you some examples of them so that you will understand the types of information that will be found in them and how they might help you with genealogy. Here's a more recent record, and you can see by this point in time, the records were on printed forms. There are just a few Italian words, the printed words in the form, that you need to become familiar with, and then you'll easily be able to read these records. Here is the date of the record, the child's name. This means son of. This is the father's name. This means and of. And this is the mother's name. And this is really neat. It gives the place and date of the parent's marriage. This is the birth date and time. This is the priest who baptized the child. And these are the witnesses and godparents. As the child continued to live in the parish, the priest added his confirmation information. And here is even his marriage. A little earlier than that, this example is 1816. The records were kept in column form. And these are really easy to read because all you have to do is translate the titles of the columns. This is the date of the birth and the date of the baptism. This is the name of the child, recorded in the male or female column, depending on the gender of the child. This tells us whether the child was legitimate. Here is the name of the priest who baptized the child. This is the name and residence of the mother, and the name and residence of the father. And then the next page has the godparents on it. You will also see entries that are all written out in longhand. They have the same vocabulary. They're easy to translate. I'll translate in an example of those in Part 7b of this video series. With the help of the wiki, it's very easy to translate Italian church records. You don't need to be fluent in Italian. In the wiki, there is an Italian genealogical word list. Think back to the birth record that we just read. The only Italian phrases we needed were child, son of, daughter of, mother, father, and so on. In addition to these keywords, you'll need to know some numbers and the names of the months and days. The URL for the word list is listed in the notes below this video. The majority of church records are still maintained by the local churches and will require writing to the priest. Part 10 will train you in writing letters for genealogical research. Here is how to locate and search the few church records that are online. From this address, posted below this video, go to the Italy Genealogy main page. Choose the province where your ancestor lived. From the province page in the table of contents, you will click on church records. Here you will find a listing of online records that are available, and some of these will even be indexed. In item number two, under church records on the province page, we find the second way to locate online records, which is to search for them listed in the Family Search catalog. Click on this link, click on places within the province, the town. Then the topic records, the title of the record. Here is one link to the online records, or you can click on the camera icon for a specific film. The camera icon means that the record is digitized, and the magnifying glass means that the record is indexed. Now, you could try one of these three choices from here. Watch the Italy Church Records case study to see how to apply this birth record information to an actual 
genealogy problem. If you want to go check and see if online birth records are available for your town in Italy, and you find them, search them, and use the Italy genealogical word list to translate them. If you determine that there are no records online, and you're going to need to write for them, jump ahead to part 10, writing to a priest for genealogy research.